Esport nutshell news. Everything you want to know about esports compacted into a nutshell like YouTube video. In league news, Faker re-ups his contract with SK Telecom T1, getting a bump in pay to rival the Chinese offers he's been getting for years. Yoon Sub Choi, Lokodoko, joined LCS Team Liquid as a content creator, on-camera personality, and translator. Tristan Strag, Power of Evil, joins LCS Team Origin, and veteran Enrique Cedeno Martinez, X-Peak, moves to be the six-man swing. Jonas Anderson Trashy joins European LCS organization Follow Esports, you better watch out. League champions Korea whoops SK Telecom T1, even with Faker playing the second match. LCK is on the rise. Louis CK, you should consider sponsorship. Riot's 2016 LCS rules are set to include three-year minimum contracts, minimum compensation for substitute players, allow players to leave delinquent teams, and eliminate non-compete clauses, all in the hope to increase the quality of life for LCS players. Hyo Seung uh, Hoon Huni plans to leave Fnatic for a North American team for more money and to get out from under his strict coach Luis Sevilla Delore, who apparently was enforcing uncomfortably strict rules on his lifestyle. Cloud9 adds uh, Lee Yoon Jae, uh, Rush, and Michael uh, Curry Lo, Bunny Fufu, to their lineup while uh, keeping High Dulam in rotation. Happy retirement anniversary, High. TSM hires Josh Smith, Jarge, and a 26 year old Casey Woods, a former basketball and baseball player turned pitching coach, now turned League of Legends coach. He admits he's not great at the game, but this will be an interesting case study experiment in how well physical sport coaching translates to electronic sport coaching. LCS team Dignitas adds adds Leonard Warkus Smitty J, Thomas Yun uh, Kire, Kire uh, Apollo Prince Apollo to their current lineup, with returning members Danny Lee Shipter and Alan Nguyen Kiwi Kid. They also brought on head coach Joe Ilawasi, Interflame, and analyst Barento Muhammad Raz. Sacramento Kings co-owner Andy Miller and Mark Mastrov buy Team Coast LCS spot and rename the team NRG Esports, uh, filling the roster with uh, Young Eon Young Impact, Lee Chung Suk uh, GBM, Galen Holgate Moon, Kevin Kwan Kon Kwan, and Johnny Ru Alltech with uh, coach uh, Tadayoshi Littleton Hermit. Team Solo Mid announces new roster: Kevin Yarnell, uh, Hanser, Dennis Johnson, Sven Sekerson, a uh, sucker and stuff attached. Uh, Raymond Sang uh, Tsiung uh, Kasing. Uh, Soren B uh, Bjerg Bjergsen, and now they're on their way to boot camp to prep for Intel Extreme Masters San Jose. I have a hard time liking Andy D and Reginald. Can someone explain why I should like him more? Riot changes all offensive usernames to an appropriate name and gives players an option to change their username if they complete a personality survey or pay 1,300 Riot points, about $10, to which rioters responded with 1,300 expletive deleted words. In a study by Science Direct using Riot's uh, light, uh, League of Legends player survey, they found antisocial names reflect antisocial behavior. Antisocial players are more likely to give negative reviews of other players. There is a direct correlation between age and social behavior. The older you are, the nicer you are, which is is also tied to brain structure, which consistently changing, uh, which is consistently changing in adolescence. In particular, the frontal lobe structures, making adolescents more prone to react to emotionally salient stimulations and uh, situations and stimuli, even when their logical reasoning is intact. In other news. Two weeks after launch, Overwatch gets its first balance patch, replacing everyone's weapons with a modulus ECS tenon blaster. Ravindu Kotapelli, Ritsu, is dismissed from Cloud9's Dota 2 roster due to past and present poor behavior. Drums. Cloud9 beats Team Liquid 2-1 at the CSGO I Buy Power Invitational. Cloud from Final Fantasy VII is coming to Super Smash Bros. starting maybe in December. It's officially a little S-word crowded in the world of Smash. Attorney Bryce Blum defends Braxton Pierce swag on his CSGO Valve ban for uh, match fixing, citing his young age and genuine regret as reasons for leniency. SK Gaming buys up European-based R3D Gaming, a three-team organization, Odyssey, Chimera, and Prometheus, competing in the MOBA t uh, tablet game, Vainglory. French team Envious withdraws from Intel uh, Extreme Masters San Jose due to recent Paris attacks. Harrison Gold gives a play-by-play -play on how to hire for an eSport organization and the do's and don'ts of sponsorship on eSportsEntrepreneurship.com. If you're looking to hire in the world of eSports, go to eSportsCareer.org. After hosting their first two major LAN events with a total prize pool of $125,000, California's eSports Arena's crowdfunding for the 2016 Heroes of the Storm event is looking problematic and may get canceled if they don't make their $5,000 Kickstarter goal by January 8th. French eSports company Oxen is working with Riot, Valve, and others in integrating female teams into the world of esports navigating through the overwhelmingly sexist online community. Ultimately, their goal is to use uh, to see co-ed teams in all leagues. 
Halo 5 is struggling to be a contender. I could have been a contender in the world of esports sitting at the 53rd most viewed game on Twitch. Will their world championship prize pool currently at $1.7 million bring in the audience that they want? Uh, Metal Gear Solid partners with ESL to make Metal Gear Online Global Championship, holding regular tournaments from December 1st through February 29th at $1,000 per competition for each region, also allowing players to earn ESL points. Super Smash Brothers Pro William Hielta Leffen challenges Zachary Cordoni um, SFAT to a $1,000 cash match at DreamHack Winter. That's how the fighting esport world works. WWF like trash chalk and calling out competitors to challenges. Great marketing, boys. You throw that folding chair. Bertrand Grospelier, uh, Elki, former StarCraft and WarCraft pro player and poker player with $10 million in career winnings, signs with Team Liquid to play Hearthstone. Apparently, all the cool millionaire poker kids are moving to Hearthstone for their retirement plan. Plan, just like Daniel Negrinu, who won 30 million in poker, now also a Hearthstone player. Modern Times Group acquires DreamHack for $28 million. DreamHack made $7.9 million in 2014 and expects to double that in 2015. Is Modern Times Group going to own all the tournament organizations except those under control by developer publishers like Riot, Hi Res, Valve, and Blizzard Activision? Will they lease the game rights to Modern Times Group? How does this relate to other sport organizations and leagues like NBA or NFL? Blizzard Activision is taking the reins of competitive Call of Duty tournaments. Prize pools will increase to $1 to $3 million. MLG will, quote, still likely be involved in some way, citing MLG wasn't structured well and there was a lot of chaos. The tournaments will be broadcast on Twitch, not MLG. What does that mean for MLG? Blizzard Activision's launch of their own esports vertical means. MLG's negotiation with Yahoo for acquisition needs to wrap up or they need to find another buyer or pivot their business plan because their runway is getting shorter. Two events that sealed MLG's fate of acquisition or the need for a new business plan. One, Blizzard poaching MLG's co-founder Mike Sepso to build esport tournaments directly competing with MLG, the first of which being Call of Duty. Two, Nadejot's public regret of leaving Twitch for MLG, showing MLG is spending the money for talent but not gaining and retaining the audience. Chinese esport organization Team DK disbanded their Dota 2, League of Legends, and Heroes of the Storm teams. CEO Tang uh, Chao, Andy, said the gross overinflation of prices has made this industry more and more exaggerated. It makes us really sad with all the creation of these streaming platforms. The value ascribed to the players exploded to an unbelievable point. Now, Esports is in a bubble right now, and it will level out. Do you know what fuels that bubble? Throwing numbers out like confetti. Examples given, big prize pools that in reality are thinned out over many organizations, and then further to individuals, and sometimes over multiple seasons. Flashy venture capital investments, viewer and watch time analytics numbers, and these terrible esport maybe videos. That's everything. Go enjoy your weekend.